Tell me what you say now Tell me what you say, come again If you cannot stay down Then you do not have to pretend Hey everybody, what's up? It's Kiki and welcome back for another video. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and become part of the Kiki Squad. While you're at it, hit that notification bell so that you are notified when YouTube decides to notify you, child, that I have posted another video. Today I am coming at you guys with a long-awaited perfume collection video. So if that is something you guys are interested in, keep watching. So first we're going to start off with Dossier. You guys know I love Dossier. You guys know how much I love perfume. You know how much I love Dossier. I've talked about Dossier for three months now. And this month we are talking about two fragrances that I have. Actually one for me and one for hubby. If you guys don't know, Dossier is an inspired scent house. They take your favorite designer fragrance or high-end niche fragrance and make it into an inspired scent. So you're getting the same great quality for less. So I got two scents, like I said. This is how it comes packaged in a box like this. Just says Dossier. Very minimal packaging, very minimal bottle, but makes a big impact because it still looks really, really nice. The top actually is magnetic, so snaps on there really really nice like luxury perfume it also comes with a tester so that you can try before you commit so if you spray this and you don't like it you can keep this but you return the full size bottle and exchange it for something else that you might want to try on the bottle it gives you the name of the scent as well as the notes in the scent and this scent is musky roach which is inspired by narcisco rodriguez for her odor perfume um, I saw a lot of people rave about that perfume and I wanted to give it a try but I didn't know if it was something that I really wanted and I didn't want to blind buy it so in order to get it the scent the smell the feel of having that perfume but without breaking the bank I got it from Dossier these are 50 milliliter bottle sizes so you get quite a bit of fragrance in here and it is 15% concentrate this one and I have my Dossier perfumes right here so I'm just gonna slide that one back there and the other one that I got was, like I said, for Babe. I already sprayed it on this car. It is Green Verbena. Green Verbena, I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's inspired by Creed's Green Irish Tweed, which was an actual cologne that I was interested in getting for him. So when I saw that Dossier had it inspired scent, I got this. And if you guys don't know, Creed is very expensive. Oh, that smells so, so sexy. So yeah, I can't wait to give this to him and see how it wears on him, how it smells on him because it smells really, really good out the bottle. Don't say it since last long on you, they smell good and they smell just like the fragrance house that they're inspired by. So make sure you guys go check out Dossier. I will have all the information in the description box as well as a link in the discount code. So check them out, get your favorite designer house dupe. And yeah, let's get on to my perfume collection. Okay, so the last time you guys saw my perfume collection, I was decluttering it and I was giving everything away to my mom because I started a brand new collection back in December for my birthday and Christmas. All I wanted was perfume. I started off just collecting everything. Every time I watch somebody's perfume uh, perfume haul, perfume collection, write it down. I want it. Not I want to try it. I want it. So I have collected so many perfumes and I remember doing my first two perfume videos and somebody said wait until you get into niche fragrances and if I could start over I would not just take just get every perfume that everybody recommended like I don't want a huge collection I want perfumes that I'm actually gonna wear I'm actually gonna take you guys where my perfume is and show you guys my collection but this is just a small amount of what I actually own and this tray is where I keep my go-to fragrances fragrances that I want to wear every day fragrances that I want to wear for special occasions fragrance that I want to wear on date nights this is where I keep my go-to fragrances it's a few in here that I would that I would pass up if I started over but majority of this tray is the things that I really really love I have blind bought so many fragrances that most of the time when I blind buy I like it but there have been a couple times that I haven't liked it. If I really, 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 really wanted a fragrance, but no, it wasn't like a must have for me, I would buy the travel spray or I would order a sample just to try it out. I'm past that stage now. I don't buy any more travel sprays. I'm not really buying any more samples like that. Um, I did recently buy a House of Siage Discovery Kit, 
because I wanted a cupcake, but I refuse to pay for a cupcake unless I really, really love the scent. And none of House of Siage fragrances do anything for me. None. None. I haven't found one yet that does something for me. So I am going to be selling like a lot of my stuff on Macari. I did recently open up a Macari. I've purchased like two fragrances off Macari. And you got to be careful because you guys, some people are selling fake stuff and actually will tell you that it's real. But I know fragrances now and I know how to, you know, judge who to buy my fragrances from. So I will be selling quite a bit of my collection because I don't want to have a collection. Just a collection of perfumes. I, I used to go in Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls and look at perfumes. And then if it's something that I've seen maybe someone talk about, I want to buy it. I don't do that no more. Now I only want perfume that I love, that I want to wear, that I want to smell, not just to have it. Basically all I want is what can fit in this tray. So do not just purchase anything everybody recommend. That's why I messed up it. I have obsessive personality where once I'm laser focused on something, that's all I'm focused on. I was getting like fragrances, a delivery two to three times a week of fragrances, but I'm off that stage. So yeah, I moved on to skims, but I'm off that already. So I'll show you guys what's in my staple must have fragrance tray and then we'll go into my room and I'll show you guys the rest of my collection. So if it's on my go-to tray, it's most likely something that I love, something that I use, something that I would repurchase. And there's only a few on here that I would not repurchase if I had to start my collection over. So I'm going to start with what I got on my go-to tray. So this is Bonbon. Um, I don't, you know, I'm not a perf perfume connoisseur or anything like that. I can't tell you, I can't smell a perfume and then tell you the notes I smell. But I can tell you if I like it. And I think my scent profile is Oriental and Gourmand. I think that's what I saw. So this is Bon Bon. This was a perfume that I wanted when I first started my collection because it was something that I had previously wanted and I just never got around to getting. If I was to start my collection over again, I would still get this scent because I really, really like it. It is a mood lifter to me. Um, when I smell it, it makes me happy. Bon Bon by Victor and Roth. Really, really like that. This is Princess by Killian. And if I was to start my collection over, I would not repurchase this. I like it it doesn't project and it doesn't last long on me and it's just okay I really 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 love this when I first got it like this was I think this is the first perfume I spent over I think it was like $75 $85 and at that time I wasn't trying to spend that kind of money I was buying like all my perfumes from fragrance net and uh, Marshalls and TJ Maxx and the only perfume that I had purchased from Sephora was Princess and Perfect by Marc Jacobs. Everything else I was just getting at a discounted retailer. But if I was to start over, this would not be a scent that I would purchase. I have the one ounce of Mesa Francis Kurt John Gentle Fluidity Gold. I love this scent. I've recommended this scent to so many people. And if I was to redo my collection over, I would buy the 2.4 ounce. I am a one ounce girl down. I, I one ounce me please but for certain fragrances I think they deserve a full size bottle so yes I will repurchase this and I will repurchase this in a full size Baccarat Baccarat Rouge 540 I have this in a one ounce I'm a one ounce girl to my heart I love Baccarat if I was to start my collection over I would not repurchase Baccarat I would repurchase the full size of the Baccarat Extrait I love that scent more than I like this one. I love this. I love Baccarat. But I love the straight version more. So when this runs out, maybe not even when it runs out, I will be getting the uh, straight version. I have a bunch of samples of the straight, and I actually go to those more than I go to this one now. Even though that's a pretty penny, I would definitely invest in the fragrances that I really want over just collecting a bunch of fragrances. Just get the fragrances you really want and then don't buy a whole bunch of random fragrances just to have a collection. This is the only niche fragrance that I've paid full price for. Everything else I've got in on a sale at a discount and I don't regret it. I would do it again. I love this scent. My husband loves this scent. Everywhere I go, every time I wear this, people compliment me on it. 
this is a great scent i also tried to go get roses on ice which is the other um fragrance that came out with this part of the liquors collection but it didn't do it for me angel share did it tom ford lost cherry i got this in the one ounce and if i had to repurchase this or start my fragrance collection over i will get this again in the one ounce just because i don't need it in a bigger size but i still love this fragrance i just don't think i would use this all up really quickly so. my latest and greatest a perfume this is my newest fragrance purchase this scent is i wanted this but i didn't want it i know i couldn't pay the 350 but i really really wanted this scent so i got it at a good deal and i have been wearing this non-stop um this is actually one that i think i'll be repurchasing quicker than i will be repurchasing the one ounce and this is the 50 milliliter i've already decanted some of this and took it on vacation with me i keep it in my purse so this is definitely one that i will be wearing a lot especially during the summer i love this scent another one of my favorite scents and this is Casilli by perfumes de marley perfect peachy oh i love this scent perfect peachy summer springtime scent I'm gonna be wearing this a lot during the summer wore it a lot during the spring everywhere i go i get compliments on it this is the perfume that i put on when i just want to feel really girly and pretty i love this didn't i pay full price for this i actually got this from fragrance net i think fragrance net or fragrance.com one of them and i got it at a real good deal and this is one that i would maybe if i had to pay full price for it pay full price for it because i love it just that much but i don't want to pay full price for it so i'll keep trying to get it at a discount but next up we have perfumes de molly's delina exclusive this is another fragrance that i did not pay full price for i think i got this from fragrance darnet as well um 100 authentic listen i went into sex and i sprayed delina and i sprayed delina exclusive i fell in love with delina exclusive i got a sample of it i wore that and then i just had to get it. i love this i wore this for like special occasions like i wore this somewhere with my mom and then i wore this to my son's graduation and I would definitely repurchase this and add it back to my collection. Just not at full price. I can't pay it. I'm mm -mm, not at full price. I can't do it. This was my uh, newest fragrance until I got the Bitter Peach. But this is Kaoli Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. Love this. It gives me that warm, woodsy, spicy, unisex, still gourmand scent that I really, really like in a fragrance. I got this from Mother's Day. This is definitely one that I will keep in my collection. I want to try the new one, but I'm not sure yet. So, yeah. And then I'm going to get um, another one that they have, Vanilla 28. Every time I went to get it, it was sold out. It is in stock now, but um, I don't want to buy it. <laughs> I don't want to pull the bullet yet because I, I'm trying to... I'm on a no-buy. This is a good fragrance. I definitely recommend it. So, now we're moving into fragrances that I collected first that I'm not sure I would repurchase. So this is C Passione by Giorgio Armani. And I like the scent. It's really light. It's not as heavy as some of the fragrances that I have. And I come to find out that I like heavy fragrances and not necessarily fresh or like too floral, floral, florally, too floral of a fragrance. Not really my thing anymore, but I like it. I'm going to wear it, but I won't be repurchasing it. It's not one that I will run to repurchase. Next up, I have uh, YSL Mon Paris. I love this scent. I wore this for my birthday last year. Um, this is the 3.4 fluid ounces. I don't like 3.4 fluid ounce. I had the 3.4 fluid ounce of Versace Eros and I tried to trade it and nobody wanted to trade with me so I just sold the bottle. I would prefer this in a smaller bottle because I know I'm not going to use this whole thing and I would rather somebody who really really likes it have this size. But I like the perfume a lot. When it's gone, will I repurchase it? The answer is no. Up next, I have Versace Blue. This is a really, really nice scent. Um, it's light, it's fresh. And if I was to start my collection over, would I repurchase this? The answer is no. This actually, I'm probably going to wind up selling. I wore this one day and I didn't notice anything. It didn't do anything for me. So I'm probably going to put this on my Macari. I love the bottle. See, bottles are usually something that will make me keep it, but not anymore. If it's not doing it for me, I'm not I'm not collecting because I've only had these for a couple months and I don't want to have them for years just sitting here and never use them. Versace Dylan Blue, that's what it's called. Okay. Up next is Burberry Her. I love Burberry Her, but I bought Burberry Her because I heard it was a dupe to Baccarat. And I like it. I really, really like this, but I really, really love Baccarat. So I would just rather spend my money and buy 
the full size bottle of Baccarat and I don't need for very hair. Although I love this scent, I'm going to wear this scent, but I will not repurchase it because I plan on getting the big full bottle of Baccarat and I won't need something that smells like Baccarat, if you know what I mean. But this is a nice, very nice fragrance. It smells like Baccarat, but like with strawberries in it or something like that. Very sweet and fruity. But if you don't want to spend the money on Baccarat, I would definitely recommend Burberry, Burberry Hair. It doesn't smell exactly like Baccarat, but it does give you Baccarat vibes. Okay, and then these two, I'm going to talk about together. Both of these are YSL Libra. And I have the regular and the intense. I have the regular in the 1.7 fluid ounce and the intense in the 1 ounce. I had the intense. I think I returned the intense and then I bought it again because I, I regret selling them. I only really need one of these. I, I wear them for the same reason at nighttime when I want to feel dressed up or this like a little black dress vibe or if I want like a strong scent then that's what I grab these for. I got this one at a good deal. Um, it was on sale at YSL so I got it again but I didn't need it again and that was before I made up my mind that I wasn't just going to be buying perfumes just to buy perfumes so if I could do it again I would not have the am I going to sell it I might sell it because I, I haven't I've only used it once I've only sprayed it once but I've sprayed this a couple times so I might end up selling the intense I don't know Prada La Femme. This is a scent that I thought I was going to tell you guys that I would not repurchase and that I might end up selling. But I, I fell in love with this. I definitely recommend this. This was in my Black Girl Fragrance Tag recommendation. I definitely love this scent. This scent is a must have. Okay, and then the last one on this tray is Marc Jacobs Perfect. This scent, the name speaks for itself. It's perfect. I love it. It's, I, I can't even describe it, it's sweet and floral, it's just really, really nice and I would definitely recommend this to anybody asking me for a scent recommendation. It would definitely be Marc Jacobs Perfect. And this is the 50 milliliter because it only came in 50 milliliter and at 3.4. So yeah, I got the smallest one, but I love this scent and like I said, definitely recommend it. The bottle is cute, the top is cute, Marc Jacobs always does good tops. So that is everything on my must have tray. Now we're going to go look at the rest of my fragrances. Okay, so this is my go-to tray. This is the scents I normally just grab from. So, I'm going to move y'all to the next set. Okay, so over here is where I keep the little, what are these? Little sample sizes or mini sizes. My body oils and lotions. My travel sprays, my sample sprays, just everything is on this vanity. And right here I have the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc body oil, the Baccarat body oil. I have a Delina hand cream, Delina shower gel. I never use those. Delina isn't one of my favorite scents, so I might wind up selling those as well. I have a... Brazilian Crush Sol de Janeiro Body Spray. Really love that. I have the body spray of the Tom Ford Rose Prick. I wanted the perfume, but I didn't I didn't think I would wear it enough, so I bought the body spray instead. So that's just that. If you guys want a travel spray collection, let me know. Um, I do have Tom Ford Eau de Blanc, which is the toilet version of Sole Blanc. And I also have Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. I got this in the travel spray just because I did not want to pay full price for a full bottle, but I needed to have this fragrance in my collection. So I have quite a few fragrances like that in here. I got a bunch of replicas and just different perfumes. So if you guys want a travel spray collection, let me know. So over here are like mostly fragrances that I was recommended from someone's channel and I just had to have it. In my collection and now this is not the vibe that I go for anymore I rarely reach for any of these fragrances in here lady million was something really really talked about real big I like this scent it's just not something that I reach for so like I said most of these I probably put on my Macari um, this is a dupe fragrance um, inspired fragrance from all this is called Gables it's inspired by bond number nine Greenwich Village and I really really like this. This can actually go on here but I just didn't want to crowd it. 
Um, I also got their version of Bitter Peach, which is called Peach Smash. And this, I don't like. I don't like it at all. So, yeah, that's another one I can go. I have um, Juicy Couture Gold Couture. I think that's what it's called. I love this. This is perfect. Um, this is one of my favorite nighttime scents. I wear this to bed a lot. I have two or three bottles of this. One in my purse, one in my beauty room, and then this bottle in here. I have this back here, which is Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black. I actually have a travel spray of this, which is right here. And I really, really like this scent. It's like very like masculine. It gives me Tom Ford vibes. So that's why I originally liked it, but I really, really like it. That's just like something really strong and masculine. This is Dolce & Gabbana Lip Thick 3 Lip & Trees. It's okay. It's really, really light and fresh and that's not my vibe. So I'll probably be selling this one as well on my Macari. I have Dolce & Gabbana The One. I wanted this so bad. I got it in a travel spray. Somewhere in here, travel spray. And even before I even wore the travel spray, I had already ordered the one ounce bottle. But once again, one of those fragrances I never reach for. And I don't want to just have a collection of fragrances. Ariana Grande Cloud wore this one time. This is another dupe for Baccarat. And I just rather wear Baccarat instead of wearing this. So I only wore that one time and I've had it since December. This is Ari by Ariana Grande. This I love. I wear this all the time. This is like my daytime. Going to the grocery store. Let me grab something. I'll spray this. Fancy by Jessica Simpson. This is another one I wear to bed. I really, really like this scent. It's like a caramel vanilla or something. It just smells really good. Nice bedtime fragrance. Would I repurchase it? No. I don't think anything on here that I would actually repurchase. If it is, I'll let you know. I forget which one this is. I think it's Onika, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it is Onika. Um, I took the head off because I, I just don't like the head um, on these bottles. It's just so gaudy and just doing too much. So I put this little black top on it, which really don't fit. But I like this scent. This is something I would grab for during the daytime, like the Ari. When it runs out, would I repurchase it? No, but am I going to use it? Yes. This is just a nostalgic fragrance for me. I love this scent. This was a scent I was on the hunt for. Everybody was selling it for so much. I don't wear it, but I love this scent. I would wear it and I would repurchase it. It's just, I don't think I'm going to need to repurchase it because I don't plan on wearing it as much. So, And that's Marc Jacobs Honey. This is Max Candy Yum Yum. Another one that I just needed to have in my collection because it was something that I wanted before I start collecting. It was just one of those perfumes I wanted, just never bought. And um, I sprayed it one time, did nothing for me, so... Definitely going to be selling that because I have no need for it and I don't want it to just sit here. Laura Mercier Ombre Vanille. Love this scent. This is my bedtime scent. I wear this one more than I wear any of the other ones. Although it don't look like it. But I actually got this from TJ Maxx or Marshalls for $16.99. And this, I think they still sell this on the Laura Mercier website. I'm not sure. But it is like $60 or something. Okay, here is another one that I was obsessed with prior to starting my collection and this is Dolce and, Gabar Dolce and Gabbana Garden. I like it a lot but do I love it? Not really. Especially to have the big size. I tried to trade this with my cousin but she also had the big size so um, I'm debating if I want to keep this. I don't know because I really like the scent. I just never spray it and when I do spray it I mix it with the lamp and cheese but when I mix these two let me show you. When I mix these two it gives me Marc Jacobs Perfect Vibes. So they actually smell like this when I mix those two scents together. Up next is Riri Crush. I was on the hunt for this because my mom actually has this scent. And I smelled it. Fell in love. Haven't worn it since. I probably just keep this one or get this one to her. Because I know this is one of her favorite scents. It's a nice scent. I just don't reach for it. This is Private Show by Britney Spears. Another one I was on the hunt for. It has like a, a coffee kind of smell to it. I like it. I wouldn't repurchase it. And I never grab for it. I used to wear it at night. But then the other three fragrances. The Fancy, Laura Mercier, and the Juicy Couture. I always grab for them before I grab for this. Now this bottle is just for 
nostalgia purposes, sentimental values. I don't use this. It's an old bottle, but I really like the bottle for one. And I like the scent and it reminds me of good times. Same with Jador. Oh, and I didn't say this is Viva La Juicy. Same with Jador by Dior. I don't wear this. This is one of my first perfume purchases. Definitely give me nostalgia vibes. It's a very old bottle. Don't wear it. Just keeping it just for, you know, the memories when I smell it. Up next, I have Moschino 21 or 22. I don't know. But I never wear this. I haven't even sprayed it on me yet. It's another one of those cute bottles. It's another one of those light, fresh scents. And that's not my vibe. This would be one that I thought that I would just grab for like when I'm run running errands, going to the grocery store. I never grab it. So, and then also Fresh Gold Couture by Moschino. Same thing. I saw videos of people talking about this, bragging about this. Loving this scent. It's a nice scent. I just have a lot of other scents that I like more and I never spray it. It's really, really nice. I don't know. I might keep this one. Because if I don't have all these blocking my view, then I might actually grab for that one. So that one I might actually keep. I also have some fragrances back here, but you guys can't see them. So I'm going to have to bring them up front. And this is my It Can Go tray. Burberry body. When I got it, I loved it. Steven wasn't a fan of it, as you guys probably remember in my perfume video. But I really, really liked it. And since I got it, I haven't worn it yet. Creme Brulee by Laura Mercier. I like this one. But I grab for Ombre Vanille more than I like the Creme Brulee. So, um, I don't know if I'm selling it. It's just back there on my whatever tray. This is Gold Rush by Paris Hilton. Another one that my mom had that I fell in love with. See, it smells really, really good. But it's just nothing I grab for. And I haven't even sprayed it on me yet. This is just Dolce by Dolce & Gabbana. It's like the Dolce Garden, but this is the original. Dolce Garden is a planker of it, I believe. And I have this one in the one ounce. Never reached for it. It was one that I had a bunch of samples of, and I fell in love with the scent. But once I actually got the full-size bottle, I had moved on from it. So, Mac Turquotic. Same thing. It was one of those ones that I just knew I wanted and never bought before. So, when I started collecting perfumes i bought it this is a great spring summer perfume but just not for me it's too fresh and that's not me i have never even used this i've sprayed it before but i've never used it this is chloe same thing it was something i had a bunch of samples of and i just knew i always wanted the full size but by the time i got the full size bottle i was over the scent this is the one ounce chloe and dang that thing i'm tarnished already full bottle new bottle only had it for since december so Mark Jacobs Decadence. If you guys watched any of my perfume videos, you guys know I did not like this. It gives me like a pickle, a pickle cucumber scent. Some people like it. I like it for the bottle. That's it. This is another bottle that I, another fragrance that I tracked down that I thought I loved, which is Carolina Good Girl. This is the Legia something chat. Don't make me laugh. But this is the one with the clear toe of the heel. Gorgeous bottle. Smells good on a stock card, but when I sprayed it on me, it smelled like cat piss. It sucks because I really, really like this fragrance on paper, but on me, it just doesn't work with my body chemistry. And then the last fragrance that I have over here is my Flower Bomb Nectar. I saw someone post this and rave about it. I told my mom to get me this for Christmas. It was a blind buy. I never smelled it before. I just knew I had to have it. I even got it engraved and it says love mom on the back. I don't like this. I don't like it at all. I don't know. I might give this to her just because. But or I might just sell it. Okay. It's mine right? Then over here I have my Laura Mercier Ombre Vanilla Body Cream. Love this. Smells just like the scent. Not worth the price. Because if I can get the scent for $16.99. There's no way I should pay full price for this. I didn't get it for full price. I actually got it during the sale, but even still, it was too much for me already having the scent. And then I have a whole little front row of minis. Um, I can show you guys those when I show you guys my travel spray. So that is pretty much it. That's all my fragrances. Like I said, I don't want to just have perfumes just to have perfumes, just to look pretty or just to have a collection of perfumes no i want actual perfumes that i'm going to use and spray there's like two perfumes that i really really want that i probably get hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up comment share all the good stuff i love you guys tell me your favorite scent and if any of these are your favorite scents i'll talk to you guys in the comments